character playing that character with raj was was like i i didn't i didn't have to make an effort i never felt like oh i'm playing a gay character you know it was never like uh, oh my god i'm playing a gay character what will people think it was never like that this film just brings in that truth you know you just like get out of your shell and be yourself and that's that's how we just took it forward to be very honest when i was in a meeting with her sir it was such a big surprise that you know me and we are doing this film together and i'm just totally blessed to like actually do a film with a person that i completely adore and she's like a very good friend of mine Hi this is Deepak Arora and you're watching me on E Times. Hi this is Samina Sheikh here and with me today I have the Badaido actor Deepak Arora who is going to talk about his role in the movie and of course a lot of things which is happening in his world right now. Welcoming him on E Times. Hi my name is Deepak Arora thank you so much for having me it's a pleasure being here. uh so yeah i was blessed with this film uh back in 2020 uh that was around uh, december and i had actually got this role like a year after that hmm and it was like a long process of like you know being with her sir you know just spending time with him getting to know about this role and just like that because this is like my second film uh I had uh, done a film with Jackie Fernandez and Manoj Bajpai. Uh, it's called Mrs. Serial Killer. It's on Netflix. So this was like my big break as like in the cinemas. You know, like this is my first film out there in the cinemas. So hmm. I, I, I'm honestly like I don't know where I landed up, have getting this role and you know being a part of such a wonderful film along with Raj Kumar, so and then Bhumi. Uh, it's it's totally been a blessing honestly i ha- i'm out of words you know it's it's like it's it's just uh, it's you can't express the feeling honestly like it did just you big... know, did you know any of these actors before starting you know your role or prepping for your role for this movie uh so basically uh me and dumi uh were, we 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 know each other since a long time oh, awesome. and uh, when i was in a meeting with her sir it was such a big surprise that you know me and ruby are doing this film together and i'm just totally blessed to like actually do a film with a person that i completely adore and she's like a very good friend of mine so just the environment on set just changed even more and it was more uh it was more fun you know it was like I, it's not something different or you know i have, because as an outsider honestly it's very hard it's very hard like, by yeah. being on the first, on my first film for example um just being with Jacqueline and everyone since I was an outsider right and you know how it is how they welcome outsiders a lot of so, trouble for sure exactly so just that that plus point was there that you know I knew her and uh, you know we just got even more comfortable with doing the scenes and uh, me and uh, Ratso we had actually just like met for the first time on uh before we started shooting like for a reading you know and we had we had spent some time together to you know enlighten this entire thing that we've done together on this film so it was comp- yeah sorry also you know as you said the deepak about your role and you know the way you know things have been around you you know jungli pictures also plays a pivotal role i must say that because you know the production itself you know have done such good project Absolutely. good projects Absolutely. like you know razi talwar dil dhadakne do so there are so many Absolutely. good films you know around badai ho for that matter and now this is badai do how does that Absolutely. make you feel honestly i was i didn't know what i was getting into and uh, it was just something completely new that i have never experienced just like uh, taking up such a um, important part in the film you know just like uh, being along and playing that character it was honestly uh, if i if i am very honest the character playing that character with raj was was like i i didn't i didn't have to make an effort right mm-hmm. it was 
it was we we just click so well uh, th- i mean that's how i feel i hope you know when people watch the film that's also how they feel but mm. when we were together it was never like oh i'm playing a gay character you know and which is something very very important like playing such a big role because you know uh, i had recently also um i i you know, we know we have a lot we have a big community of gay people um in in india most of the world you know mm-hmm. and people coming out and just like playing it's 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 un like you know you have to just like uh i don't know what the right for word for it is it's like um this film just brings in that truth you know you just like get out of your shell and be yourself and mm-hmm. that's that's how we just took it forward to be very honest you know, the, the best part was that raj is such a nice guy and you know he he also made sure that i was playing the role right you know i was doing the scenes right and uh, the chemistry was there all the lines that we said to each other were real you know and i hope i hope people see that honestly but also you know uh, you know as i said deepak you know uh, you know of course you know being a part of you know jungle pictures productions and playing a role which is very you know as as you know i said like it's very significant you know some there's this kind of stigma you know some people like really even like you know our generation for that matter you know even we big you know belong to the same tradition here also you know in our circle also you know people talk that are you to lesbian are you to gay hai you know randomly and you know there is some kind of you know we try to like stay away from them or you know make them feel it you know different way and you know i have seen you know people my friends also you know how much they go through how much they are you know shamed actually just you know, for being you know accepting you know what they are absolutely so absolutely. you know having a film like this and you know being a part of this what this what do you have to say about that uh honestly uh when when i was uh, when harsho had told me to do this film um i i i because i also have gay friends all right and and i don't like make a distance with them all right it, because they are humans as well and what they're feeling is completely normal i mean that's that's the that's what this film is about mm-hmm. and that's what we want to change you know we want people to f- like open up and be themselves you know hopefully we can make a difference to the people in our country or all over the world hopefully it makes an impact that you know this is something that has to be avoided from people that being a gay person or being lesbian is is not something um unusual it's totally fine if the person is feeling that then what can you do i mean it's 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 how you feel and being a part of this especially with jungli and with among such great actors my director harsh wardhan sir he he just i i never felt like oh i'm playing a gay character you know it was never like uh, oh my god i'm playing a gay character what will people think it was never like that it was never like that because if i because my character's name is kabir in the film and uh, you know if kabir feels that way if he is that person and um, you know if he's dating this um, cop who's you know from theradun and you know just it's 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 something you know, natural so that's what kabir just was he was nat he was a natural gay person who was studying in a college and mm. just amongst this th- whole situation just such big names and jungly pictures this is just truly a blessing honestly like i i feel very very blessed and very happy and i'm very looking forward to like people watching the film and you know giving their response and maybe we can make an impact you know and i would really hope that happens but also you know uh, doing such intimate scenes with uh, rajkumar rao did that make you a bit uncomfortable were you skeptical about it uh so wait i'll answer your question and then i have something else that i want to tell you so uh no or not at all not at all you know it was never that space you know where we would feel uncomfortable you know even though me and uh, rat so we would when whenever we used to talk and this and that it was never that oh what are we doing right it was just natural like right? we had our readings and we did our 
we did our whole script work right like me as kabir and shardul as shardul and mm. it was like natural to be honest it never felt like it was something different like mm. honestly it was just like i was in love with him and he was in love with me and mm. it was just true love honestly on set it was thoroughly there it was out there mm. and what happened so basically when i got this film um her sir had told me that uh, you and raj have a kissing scene so um eventually i in my mind was like okay fine i'm an actor let's like you know even though i've never done that like let's just speak this up and do it and go ahead mm. so i was completely pre- prepared for it you know so eventually what happened was when we were doing that scene that day raj comes to me raj sir comes to me and he's like deepak we're not doing the scene mm-hmm. we're not kissing and i'm like you know is are they playing games with me like well, what's happening here and oh. uh, he's saying no it's not happening and i was like what do you mean it's not happening i came completely prepared i was like today is the day i'm going to you know do this yeah. so then i got there on set and raj raj sir was like this is not happening and i was completely confused and we found out that it was a plan amongst harsa bhumi and raj to fool me oh my goodness wow <laughs> to fool me and i actually cried i was like how can you guys do this to me this is complete <laughs> torture how can you guys do this to me and then eventually we moved on and uh, that, so it was the scene i'm sure you must have seen it the underwater scene where you know we go underwater we were supposed yeah. to have a case over there but which didn't happen. <laughs> yeah but also you know uh, you know uh, you know i'm seeing you know your scenes you know uh, deepak if ever in real life you know you get proposed by a gay or have you ever been proposed by a, you know by a gay person i mean yeah we live in a free country right and uh, then our comp- and how did you react if something like this has happened to you oh uh, like it's 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 like you know i would I I don't mind hanging out with gay people honestly I really yeah, don't mind getting a proposal from their end you know yeah, that, yeah. so basically what happens is that I get I often get uh, you know uh, like approached by guys but it's just something that I don't feel it's like I just tell the person that hey you know I'd love to be friends but like it's something I don't feel mm-hmm. but I have nothing against it I still would hang out with them you know mm-hmm. I would still be with them and but it's a free country i mean people can do whatever they want so me by the feeling uncomfortable or anything that doesn't change make a difference just be honest like if if i don't feel the same way then just just put it out there but you know? as we say the country you know we we stay in a free country you know there are certain laws which has not been approved or acknowledged yet you know when it comes absolutely. to you know absolutely, uh, absolutely. Gay people wanting to adopt or you know opting for marriage you know still there are a lot of people who restrict you know or letting them you know get married uh, maybe you know live in we still like acceptable i feel uh, but even live in relationships even you know there are societies over here where you know good absolutely. societies but they yeah. don't accept you know, live in relationships be it between a man or a woman or you know even between gays for that matter do you mm-hmm. somehow feel that you know such things should change because you know people should be allowed to be where they want to be and with whom they want to be i hope it does i hope it does if people are uh, this is a change that has to be put out there because there are so many people who feel that way and mm-hmm. so many people that we don't even know about because they haven't got out of their shell you know exactly. they, they're just in there you know and i mean just i i i really think they should take an action and i hope this change this badhai badhai do changes the fact that you mm-hmm. know it's okay i mean just like get out there and be yourself what's there to hide that that's what mm-hmm. i feel and i think this is a very strong impact and i hope it, it, mm-hmm. it, it we do make that impact you know i hope and i also as kabir i'm saying this right now that hopefully people also see that uh, a person who is not you know uh, gay for a fact um mm-hmm. is playing i hope i play the role right so that you know people who are in that stage feel mm-hmm. it you know and 
are uh, ready to like open up and be themselves honestly it's it's very important i think this this has to be out there you know just mm. being free and being yourself it has Would to you be- in reality ever go on a honeymoon with a friend <laughs> like <laughs> you did in the real <laughs> would you prefer doing that ever i mean um i mean i guess i guess uh, that's why this is a film <laughs> i hope, i i hope this doesn't happen to any household where you have to lie to your parents and you know get married and you know go for honeymoons with your loved ones i hope this doesn't happen this is uh, something that has to be changed and uh, it after all it is a film and i don't think in real life uh, i mean if i had an opportunity why not you know just go for like crash someone's honeymoon but not not in that sense <laughs> but 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 do you sometimes feel that maybe of course this is real life you know it's just a movie for entertainment but you right. know there might be certain people who might be thinking about such options you know already and you know when they are seeing this film they might you know feel like oh this is so relatable somewhere yeah. or oh, you know of course you know we are in this you know situation and we need to do something like this do you mm-hmm. sometimes feel that you know there could be possibility of something like this as all well, as well Uh, to go on a honeymoon no 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 not to go on a honeymoon but like having a relationship with a lesbian or a gay and actually getting married you know just for the sake of the family and just continuing our lives you know in a different L- like way. i said like i said if i felt for a guy if i had true feelings for a guy maybe because i i i would be like uh, i also would be ashamed to tell my family because i know they wouldn't accept it but um i mean yeah but i don't think so you know no no i'm saying that maybe there would be possibility of you know how this film is maybe already there might be a scenario happening in someone else's life where they might be seeking such you know options because of course the family is not accepting indian mm-hmm. family being indian fa- family you know over dramatic for such situations you know they might mm-hmm. not be accepting and you know trying to have a scenario like this you know Have I you mean, ever thought about that? You know, maybe it could be a life of someone. I mean, you have to do what your heart says. If your heart says that you love the person and you can do anything for it, then you mm-hmm. have to lie to your family. What else can you do? Mm-hmm. Then you just have to lie and uh, just just take up the challenge and like how Sumi and Raj have, along with mm-hmm. Kabir. You yourself. uh don't belong to the industry as such like even you no. know your family is not Absolutely. you know from your you know they don't have a background you know in the industry so when you actually shared your dream of you know being a part of the you know entertainment industry and you know being an actor or aspiring mm-hmm. to be an actor what right. were their thoughts and what was their feedback uh so basically when I, i've always wanted to become an actor so i was 7 years old when i actually told my father i want to become an actor and uh, ever since uh, my my father always believed in in me you know of becoming an actor and just like going out there and doing becoming an actor and doing work on a regular basis hopefully that happens but uh, yeah i mean i told my dad that i want to become an actor and he support, supported me throughout i finished my schooling and uh, i always knew that after um uh, this by schooling i want to like professionally learn acting because i was a very very shy boy in school so i never like took up any theater lessons and i was just very shy always mm-hmm. so after school when i left all my friends and i i went to la and i studied bachelor's in fine arts from uh, new york film academy and then mm-hmm. i went to lee strasberg and uh, did uh, theater for two years So mm-hmm. once I finished that, um, I immediately knew always that I have to shift to Bombay. So I, as soon as I finished my uh, college, mm-hmm. I took a flight straight to Bombay. I had never been to Bombay before. Uh, mm-hmm. Came to Bombay all by myself, um, and um, was for the first couple of months. I didn't even know where to go and do what. But I guess everyone figures out their own way and. the best part is that i have my father's support you know he always supported me throughout that 
if son if you want to become an actor please go ahead and do it you know you don't mm-hmm. have to do something that you don't want to do mm-hmm. so in terms of that i don't think my family ever had a problem with you know uh, me mm-hmm. becoming an actor and coming to bombay mm-hmm. so everything worked out pretty smooth i mean when i came to bombay i i just didn't stay home at all i would just go out and you know find out where the auditions are and mm-hmm. eventually by doing that you 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 get your way you find your way that's definitely quite nice you know hearing from your end that you know of course you know the way they have supported but when you spoke to them about you know being a part of a film like badhai do what was their reaction so uh, it was all of a sudden basically we were, i was in germany it was complete lockdown here everything was shut down mm-hmm. and uh, unfortunately i had to go back home to germany and uh, stay there because mm. there was nothing going around over here so mm. when i was in germany i was uh, i was just working and i had gotten a call from jungle pictures saying that you know we have this audition that you had sent and we'd like you to send in an uh, audition again so i did that and uh, the next thing you know is that her sir wants to meet me wow so when i told my uh, family that i'm going uh, to you know meet uh, her sir and the entire team uh, they were like what film is it so immediately when i told them it's badai do sequel badai do mm-hmm. they were really really happy you know they were because it's a film that was a big blockbuster film all of us know that badai do was such a big hit and it's such a great film with like all of them did an incredible job So I guess they were very happy I would say that yeah and I'm really looking forward for them to watch it you know it's been almost a year that we finished shooting and now the fi- film is finally coming out so I'm happy yeah I would say that what are your upcoming projects you're working on uh so at at, at this point uh badai do was because i am also based out of germany so i keep going back and forth so at this point i was like i just want to you know do badhai do and you know slowly get into the process so as of now this is the only project that's coming up that's quite nice but what are your expectations out of this one because you know we have dealt with the entire covid omicron situation and you know theaters are of course like open but you know there is of course a lot of people don't come they think about it now because of the entire situation in the yeah, country yeah, yeah, what are your yeah. thoughts about this release and you know are you like nervous i am kind of uh, nervous it's out there now people are going to watch it and uh, i think i think i i, uh, I as kabir did what i could and i hope i am really relatable to people i hope they uh, you know relate to what i related while i was doing the scenes with raj sir and bhumi and everyone so let's see fingers crossed expectations is better not to have expectations right just go with the flow that's I've, true that's actually very true and i yeah. really hope that see i watched the film and i really liked it and i'm sure it's going to be a good one for the audience out there and i'm sure they will love it thank you so much deepak for your time and all the very best thank you